advice would be to avoid these traps uh, about you have to have a house when you're 35, you have to get kids when you're 40. You know, all these paradigms, they won't carry. One of your paradigms was being freelance is risky and uh, being in a large corporation is safe. Yes. Right? That's what we learned Yes. Uh, in the 70s, 80s, 90s. Yes. And uh, how do you think now about that? <laughs> um, you know, uh, I think today obviously different about it yeah but I, I just one short short story from from how I learned it um, uh, with Egon Zender we did a lot of management appraisals so ma uh, evaluating controlling man uh, uh, management uh, uh, when 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 corporations took over an, an, an uh, Eastern European corporation and especially the women in Eastern Europe they had one constant belief they said if I come to your country to Austria yeah, I will work as a self-employed woman. And I asked them, why? I mean, don't you want to stay with the bank? Or don't you want to stay? They said, no, no, that's much too risky. It's much too risky, yeah? Uh, to be uh, 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 in these political organizations mm -hmm. where, where, where sometimes not only performance, but other things count, where you don't know when, when it's time to restructure, when you don't know when it's time to grow. It's, you're not, you are not, running your own your own career and I thought wow that's new to me yeah. that's wisdom that's wisdom that's wisdom that's female wisdom uh, and and now and now uh, after eight years of executive co uh, executive um, search and uh, uh, leadership services and and six years as a coach I truly believe that you know um, uh, self-employment having faces in your career of of doing things not in a corporate context adds enormously to your to your personal growth so if we think of the now 25 to 35 year old people because lots of them are are watching right now and listening right now yeah what would we give them as advice how to start I mean, you know, uh, from my background as a, as a leadership coach working with the sea level of this world, yeah? um, uh, I would say we measure uh, potential in young people uh, by their curiosity, their insight, their determination and their engagement with people. So that's the technical part of, of, of assessing potential in in. in as, as we did it with, with my, one of my firms. Um, so, curiosity, you know, be curious on the world. If you say my father was a lawyer, so the, I do the lawyer, I am, I'm also the lawyer, and, and, and you know, I want to stay in my hometown because then I inherited the house of my parents and this is easy and I, all my friends are here. I mean, that's nice. I don't devaluate that. I, I call them the local heroes, yeah? And that's a, that's a, that's a way of living, of course. but. If you really want to in, in, in engage in the world as it is, is, is evolving, if you really want to be part of this completely new thinking, uh, I believe uh, these uh, local heroes, they, are a little bit, they have the, 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 the challenge to be stuck in traditional thinking. So what I would think, curiosity means uh, um, do a study, whatever you like, uh, without thinking of the career, Go abroad with that. In our Europe, we have this Erasmus program, which was amazing. Not only it was the basic of many marriages around the, the, the different nation states, it was an amazing um, uh, uh, mobility shift. And I think it changed, changed so many people to the good. So travel, work in different places, work in different places, um, uh, curiosity, insight, Try to learn from people, try to learn from literature, try to learn from everything that you experience. This, uh, um, uh, this book from, from Carol Dweck about this, you know, the dynamic, the dynamic uh, uh, mindset and the, and the static mindset. You develop your dynamic mindset by, by saying, 
today I have no clue about this topic, but tomorrow, if I, if I, if I engage in that, I can be a pro. This dynamic mindset that does not say I'm an Austrian lawyer who learned that and, and this is what I'm good at and I have to defend my, my talent and I have to stick there and to be defensive when anybody challenges me that the lawyer profession will be completely different in 10 years. This is, this is I think, where I would, where I would, the advice would be to avoid these traps uh, about you have to have a house when you're 35, you have to get kids when you're 40. You know, all these paradigms, they won't carry. The paradigms that carry today is having a dynamic mindset, being open, being curious, doing different things, doing lots of stuff. Yeah? We had talked about Gary Vee. I think this was one of his, his sayings. Do lots of stuff. And then decide, come get close, do what you ever want, become more focused. For some people this will happen with 30, for others with 35, for others with 50 plus. It's always the right timing. Thinking of Gary, he has his, his nuts and bolts business with 300, 400 employees. Yes. And then he has all these innovations and he plays with them basically every day and innovates kind of every week. And uh, there is this dilemma, I'm curious about your perspective. There is this dilemma that we say in coaching nowadays in the agile um, ages, we say start quickly, start small, start now basically, before you have, you have the mastery, bef before you have the, f the, f the mature skill set, start just now, it will grow with you. Yeah. On the other side, I also have the experience myself and I see people who go freelance too early and uh, and did not learn the craft behind it. So of course the competence, the market is not there, but that is something you can grow. But on the other side, the mindset and the craft, the basic craft, like for me, it was being uh, four years in St. Gallen with Professor Fredmund Malik, who was my master and my mentor mm. and uh, after it I had the the inner uh, competence and feelings after a number of large projects done well from end to end well I, I think I can do that and people say I can do that now yes. I will try the risky part of doing it under my name yes but the risk then is it's not such a big risk if you know what you're doing and uh, it, it's just the risk of will you find the right market, the right oh. people who care mm. about that and who are the right clients, basically. Mm. But it's, it's, it's a, a part of a risk. It's not a really risky thing. But it can be risky if you don't have that craft mm. part behind it. How do you, how do you see that? Mm. Use it uh, freelance. I would not use... It. Freelance is mm -hmm. one option. The other would be self-employed and building your own company. Mm -hmm. which can grow, of course, with employees to, 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 to mm -hmm. a big scale, you know. Uh, so it's, 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 it's self-employment and it's freelance. Mm -hmm. And you say too early, you know. Um, there is, obviously, we both know there is not, not a formula. Uh, what I truly believe is it, we cannot start early enough with that. It's not about, you, you have a study, the, the, the you learn something. But you find your masters, you know, wherever you find them. You, you found it, what he said, in, in, in St. Gallen. Others find it in, 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 you know, not within a corporation, but within their network where they work. And I think it's not so much the question of the age. I would also like to stress that. We have a chancellor now in Austria who is 32 mm -hmm. years in age. The business community is around 45 to 60. So they have to change their bosses to, to communicate with the chancellor of the Republic because he could be their child. Yeah? <laughs> so, I mean, you know, age. Paul Paulson said, for example, that he said that um, uh, he always wants to have a person within the age group of 35 in his boards. Because, you know, many corporations I work here in Europe, they tell me about their talent program and then I ask them, how old are the, your, 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 your men and women in your talent program? And they say around 39 to 42. You know, in my world, these are no talents anymore. I mean, they are, you know, 
You know what I mean? So uh, it's, it, we, there is this paradigm of seniority, of gray hair, of you have first, you have to experience these things. I agree to a certain extent. Um, but to challenge you a bit, I would say, no, if somebody uh, wants after his direct, after his college to, 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 to go into his own profession, it's as good as first learning a big in, the, in, a, in a larger scale. Mm-hmm.